out of that dress when she meet Jim West. Episode 18, the podcast officially legal. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. Barely legal. You think it's legal? It's barely legal. Would you... This podcast just turned 18. Would I fuck this podcast? Yes. Yeah. You would fuck it? Yeah. This is definitely a guy podcast, dude. I, I'd have to. You're gay. So what? You're gay now. I'm def- I can't help... I, this podcast, if this was a man, I'd, I'd go gay and fuck it. If you go gay, you're going to be able to get into a lot of festivals. That's true. My comedy <laughs> career would fucking blast <laughs> off the fucking ground. <laughs> um, how is everyone? How are you, Matthew? Good. Doing good. Doing all right? I haven't seen in a while. I got snowed in. in yeah, you're uh, up. You're up there in the north. Mechanicsburg. Damn, dude. Whew. Did you guys tr- get a lot of snow? Yeah, more. it looks like we got a lot more. Yeah, we here. didn't get that much here. It was just fucking ice. <clears throat> yeah. We got crushed with ice. It was cool. Yeah. Last night, I was happy. Last night, I was on stage. My hair kept falling in my eyes. Dude, I was, oh, I was, shit. I was kept pushing Look at that, Dude, man. I kept loving pulling yeah, it out. Yeah, for our listeners, Matt's hair is flowing. It's getting long. It looks good. I, I just talked about being a true artist the whole time, pushing hair you out of my eyes. You do look like an artist it right now. Sick. You, look, I, I you know. look terrible. It's all about image, dude. Stand up real quick. I want to see that sweatsuit. <laughs> Matt's wearing a tucked-in <laughs> sweatsuit. He's got a crew neck hoodie or not a hoodie excuse me a crew neck tucked into red sweatpants hell yeah tight reds baby that's literally the down syndrome uniform <laughs> that's what you're wearing it's gym day dude if i wore that outfit people would help me everywhere i went people would hand me things and help me and you just look like a fucking maniac in that. it's gym day dude <laughs> like, <a> schizophren- <laughs> like someone's schizophrenic uncle you do yeah. They get big though. Schizophrenics get big. Do they really? Yeah, they get fat. A lot of I think like ninety five percent of schizophrenics smoke cigarettes. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they love sure. cigs. It's fucking. They do sweet. not give a. F- I worked for the state, and I would go. I went into this one house that was a house for schizophrenic men. Oh, Whew, that was rough. It's got to be a nightmare. They did smoke their fucking dicks. They also, don't stop. Yeah, but they also don't care about themselves. Yeah, it's weird. Like they were all fat as fuck. They were all in shitty sweatsuits. Holy fuck! Covered in stains and shit, just walking around. Holy shit! Yeah, they were nuts. I mean, literally. Dude, I watched. Probably not the right thing to say about. I watched a documentary. It was about like a a place like that for to treat people. It was in Mm -hmm. like uh, central Pennsylvania, but it was in the it was in the eighties. So there's just like a dudes in like Miami Dolphin sweatpants tackling fucking schizophrenics. I'm like, dude, fucking chill. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, dude, what, that's what my job was. Yeah. I had to go You were an orderly? No, no, no. I had to go, if there was an incident, yeah. I had to go investigate the incident and find out if the orderly was wrong or not. Holy so, fuck. So like, we'd watch security footage of these dudes just spearing <laughs> retarded guys. <laughs> just Terry Tate off his linebacker and a bunch of retarded guys around the house. Well, in the documentary, the guys, the one dude is schizophrenic and like... Has like a mild case of Down syndrome, so he was like the guy's. Ex- the I don't doctor. know, dude. Do you have mild Downs? Me? No, I mean, no. I think he. Had, this is. I don't know. Yeah, good question. It seems like mild AIDS. Either I think you, you either yeah, either you have it or you don't. Yeah. But that's what this guy said. He was like, well, he's schizophrenic and he has like mild. Um, he said mental retardation. And okay. The guy's like, what? And he's like, you're a little retarded. And he's like, anyway. And he kept talking. And the yeah, guy was you showed dude, me this. It was so funny. Weren't they sitting next to each other? Yeah, at the table? right next yeah, to each yeah, other. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm what? He's like, you're retarded. And he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking funny. Yeah, that was that was definitely the most depressing job I've ever had. That had to have been insane. Well, it wasn't. We usually didn't deal with adults. It was usually uh, kids. See, that's just as bad, if not worse. worse. Yeah. Especially because it was like juvenile, like oh. detention centers and shit. Yeah, this guy cried because he, he put his he put his head like near the window and the sun beamed on his head and he was like for like two days was like the sun hit my head and like freaked the fuck out. Oh, dude, like, how do you even talk someone down from that? It's like yeah. uh, I don't know, bud. I think swallow these things and just go to bed my, for a while. My first day, someone killed themselves. A kid killed themselves. Good uh, lord, himself, and we had to go. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. And uh, we had to investigate that. Yeah, that was rough. Holy fuck. And then my last day, the day... Well, I got fired. <laughs> you got fired from the house? I nuthouse? did not give a fuck about this job. You're like a young Ken Kesey. And uh, <laughs> I got fired. And the last day, like when I was like leaving, they were like, oh, we have to go to Pittsburgh. I was like, why? They were like, uh, two of the kids beat another kid to death with a vacuum cleaner. And I was like, all right, I'm Perfect. going home. I'm Perfect. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm going home. Fuck. Yeah, that was miserable, man. Oh. But I was in an office of all ladies, mm-hmm. and they fucking hated me, dude. Of course. They hated me, and there was one other dude, and he was like, he played the game. He yeah. was like there fucking, like they all loved him. They yeah. thought he was the hottest guy in the world. He was just this like oh, volleyball so player. 
That's he's so sucks funny. dick, dude. I saw through oh. all his little gay fucking game. He flirted with every chick there. Like he like I the one chick was like, We're like office husband and wife. You're my office husband. Ew. And I was like, dude, if your fucking husband found out about that, <laughs> he'd beat that guy to death with a fucking vacuum. <laughs> Oh, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, I, yeah, they I, didn't I, like that at all, did they? They didn't like my attitude. Oh, my God. I just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and they didn't have a desk for me, so I had the secretary's desk at just the front of the office. Oh. This fucking lady recorded how long my lunches were. The fuck? It was like 35 minutes instead of 30. Did they know your sister? Uh, no. I was going to say, there's a chance they just didn't like your sister. No, they didn't know my you. sister, and they didn't know the power that my sister had. And they didn't know that... I was late every day because I was riding in with my sister. Yeah. Who could be late. And I never told my sister I was getting in trouble for being late. Yeah, you late. told me that. Then you got fired for being late. I got so fired for being late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was literally, I was like five minutes late That's at insane. the most every day. I fucking, and what you're I hate dealing that with? so much. And what you're dealing with? Yeah. It's like, dude, give you a couple like, minutes. Let's go in investigate morning. a child's suicide. Uh, also, you're three minutes late and your lunch was four minutes long. That's so insanity. We're going to have to write you up. I was like, all right, write me up. Yeah, what happens? Right, please. What happens if you write me up? <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> like, well, we just have it written down. I'm just like, all right. I tried to quit one time a job and they just were like, no, I just, it was the same th- I would fantasize all day in this cold calling place about getting fired. Oh, cold and the calling one, sucks. Dude, the one lady came in, it was the owner's sister and I fucking hated this lady. She came in and she was like, I forget what I've been, I've been, she wanted me to do this like bullshit fucking task of like going through all these envelopes and opening up letters and reading them. I was just like, I'm, I'm not doing that. Straight up Bartleby, like, no, I'd prefer not to. Bartleby? <laughs> yeah, it was Bartleby the Scrivener. It was, there's something that, it was like a short story I had to read in college about a guy. Oh, okay. The guy came up and he was like, Bartleby, can you do this? And he's like, I'd prefer not to. And the guy's like, I don't know what to do with this fucking guy. <laughs> so I Bartleby I Bartle be this lady. And I was like, I, I'm not doing that. I was like, I, I just refuse. She was like, you can't refuse. I'm like, please. I literally told this. My, it was like my boss. I was like, I fantasize all day about getting fired. <laughs> like, fire me. Yeah, man. Some it. places won't fire you. If you want to get yeah. fired, they will not fire you. And like, that's, that put a bad thing. Because then when I was at the dog walking place, I figured I could fucking show my hand there and instantly yeah. fired me and i was yeah, like fuck yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well, get the fuck out so i worked when i sold cars right out of high school <laughs> yeah i was pretty obviously quitting like mm-hmm. the whole time i was there I, that place that was great like you could show up late as fuck yeah. if you sold a car you could pretty much just i would just leave yeah every day <laughs> i did not give a fuck i could not believe they kept me they kept me i quit yeah. I, I ended up leaving and then the job i had here at ardmore mm-hmm they kept me. Oh, I was insane. That was crazy. You think I go sit in my car for like a half an hour? I would just leave every day. <laughs> I also would show up like three hours late every single day. They're like, try to be here at eight. I would walk in at 10 and be like, this is pretty good. <laughs> I'd be like, all right. They kept me again. Dude, that's so know. funny. But yeah, this I, I don't think I can have a job. No. I'm, I'm certain. I'm going to need one. But yeah. Good lord. I can work for like three days at a time, and then it'll get to the point where I'll be like standing in a job, like I gotta get the fuck out yeah, of here. At least you're doing like manual shit, which is nice. I've it, done that. Even then, I still still yeah. <clears throat> showed up pretty fucking late every time. Yeah, though that's another place they might sometimes places like that will tolerate it if yeah. you can get shit. If they know you'll get something done, but I've I just like the like just not thinking. Just, if I am at yeah, a job, yeah, yeah. I don't want to think and I don't want to deal with anyone. Yeah. Well. Enough job stuff. Yeah, enough monster.com. No one gives a fuck. Not at all. Dude. All these people are stuck in their mindless dog shit jobs. I know. Caught in the fucking labyrinth. You and me are doing it right, dude. Long We're free. hair, sweatsuit. Long hair, sweatsuits. I had, I've been farting horribly for three days. That's perfect. <laughs> it's so I got bad. home I, right when I walked in. Matt was waking up from a nap off his air mattress. <laughs> this is the life, dude. Dude, the head, I took a headphone nap at like two and a half. I don't yeah. even know what time it is right now. Uh, I, I got to move my car at 7, so we're good. Yeah, you're good. We're good we for now. Time. Dude, last night, cl- typical fucking showbiz clashing with the networks. Oh, yeah? Already got a taste of it, dude. Jesus Christ. The oxygen. <laughs> oxygen? The oxygen yeah, network. Yeah, the oxygen you network. Even- big oxygen network came through. So we're, Blizz- we're our friends do stand-up, Charles Blizzard and Sarah Bell, and they're throwing a, a showcase at Fergie's. And the oxygen network, which... I'll credit Chris Wood. I think he's onto something. With there was a weird conspiracy there, where like the Oxygen Network just happened to be there, being like, "Oh, we had no idea anything was going on," and they had a show called Blizznick was calling it Lesbian Wife Swap, <coughs> and I thought he was serious, so I called it Lesbian Wife Swap. And the, a producer came up. He's like, "It's not Lesbian Wife Swap. It's called Switching Teams, where like it's like Wife Swap, but for like a gay male couple and lesbians, and then they swap." 
Oh, God. Yeah. And, uh, you know, whatever. Why the fuck would they do that? I mean, why wouldn't they? For Oxygen Network, it's like... Yeah, but that's like the two things they definitely hate. Like, if I'm a gay dude, yeah. I don't like women, and I don't like men's personalities. And that's exactly what a lesbian is. Yeah. She's probably like, let's watch the ball game. And he was like, oh my god. <laughs> probably both end up killing and each you other. And can't even jerk them off. <laughs> it was, actually, Irish people it was horrible. That? No, so then, and this <laughs> is, so then these Irish people wandered in afterwards for the open mic. And we're just fucking the whole time just yelling shit out. Irish people are the worst. Actually, no, they were there the whole time. They were saw they? that whole thing. They saw that. I'm, I'm oh sorry. Oh, my God. Because they were there for my set, so they saw that whole thing. No, 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 no. I take that back. I, I was after that, so they weren't there for that whole thing. Okay. Sorry. So you weren't on. I wasn't on. I wanted to go lights. on. It was going to be Brandon, then me, and then it just blew up. And then Brandon went on, and I went on. There's these two Irish people there, and I kept making fun of them just for like living in like a fucking Braveheart village and like <laughs> well you guys sound like you have a fucking sock in your mouth anything they said I'd just be like I don't understand you guys <laughs> tell them that like celiacs came from Ireland. it's like their version of AIDS they brought to the United States <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun and then like you should have told them about your cousin's uh, website idea or your brother's oh Irish are retarded Irish are retarded dot com Irish are retarded dot com it's a hell of a website dude you, I, my, <laughs> my brother Tom has a website my, I should post that picture of my dad's basketball picture <laughs> Irish are retarded <laughs> my brother wants to start a website where you just scroll through kind of like faces of meth where it's just Irish people and retarded people and you gotta guess if they're Irish or retarded <laughs> <laughs> that's the best Irish are retarded is fucking hilarious <laughs> But yeah, it was it was funny, man. It was funny watching people try to attack the Irish, and it was like you can't, dude. You can't get them. She went up and hugged one of the comics, and the one comic took it as like it was like, "Are you assaulting me?" And they were just like, "What the fuck is going on?" Oh. It was so fucking funny. And then at one point, what the, a fucking the lady, shit show. The, the Irish lady at one point, like I was like talking to her, I was like, I bought them because I was fucking with them so much, I bought them each a drink. And then the lady's like, "Tie my shoe," and like she put her boot up to me, and like instinctively, I was like, "Okay," and just started like tying her <laughs> shoe. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? Get off my foot. Uh. She's like, I usually don't wear shoelaces. And I was like, why? And she's like, because black people will steal your shoes. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. I forgot what you guys love to do. <laughs> yeah, black people will steal your shoes. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking great. Dude, I was telling Cindy about it, too. I was like, as he was talking about them, I'm like, dude, I forgot just how, like, funly racist Irish people are because yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah. sound vicious it's just you're just like alright man yeah, yeah they'll sure. get your shoes oh, they'll get your shoes from you <laughs> you gotta watch them <laughs> it's like what <laughs> you're like a fucking fairy tale <laughs> you're like a little leprechauns dude but yeah that was fun that was a good time O2 dude shut down the oxygen network yeah nice man dude I wanted to chase him out and be like dude put me on <laughs> I'll suck a dick to get on oxygen <laughs> Fuck that. That sucks. You guys, did you sign anything? I didn't sign shit. I wonder if Sarah did. Yeah, she did. Oh, she what signed an a release. idiot. She signed a release. Well, they told us, they were like, we're going to use like your, I would have totally signed something if they came up to me. They're like, we might throw your stand-up clips on Oxygen to like cut in and out of the show. So Fuck that's that. how I think they baited them. What would that get you? Nothing. That's what, I was just laughing at the whole thing. I was just like, dude, this is ridiculous. Yeah, here's 10 psycho fans now. If that, if no, who's ten people are gonna hate your? Or are yeah. definitely gonna hate my stand up. Though you did just get booted off Reddit, right? I got booted off the conspiracy board. Why? Fucking telling the truth about Trump snorting Keefe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they booted you off. There was actual guys like you have to decarboxylate Keefe in an oven in order for me to bioavailable, and someone just came along and was like, "This is bullshit," and fucking trashed me. <laughs> Wait, you got fucking kicked off for having a bad conspiracy? I basically fared. I, fa I shared a fake article. Of my own design. You wrote the article? Yeah, totally. Oh. So, so I, fa I faked news and I got kicked off. I, in a conspiracy board? That's though? what I'm saying, dude. Like, it could be <laughs> it's true. It's all fake news. Exactly. It could be true. But they booted me, dude. And if I, if I attempt... Were you talking shit? I said nothing. I just posted it. I didn't say anything. That was the other one when I got booted out of fucking uh, Skyrim. You got when booted I, out of Skyrim? Yeah, because they get video game. Yeah. Because when I first made I thought you needed a lot of karma to like get your stuff on, on the Reddit. internet. On Reddit. Okay. So I knew our old roommate Crick used to play Skyrim. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I, I watch him play it. I can just chat these guys up and get points. And I was like, yo, my one roommate plays the, uh, 
he doesn't play the multiplayer version. He plays just like the single version. He's a fucking pussy, and, and then everyone, dude, it was the only time yeah, anything's like, ever blown no up. Yeah, they're like, there is no multi. Yeah, like, there is no multi. What the fuck are you talking about? And I was like, <laughs> huh? And they're like, you're thinking of Elder Scrolls, which is blah blah blah. And I was like, all right, like, calm down, you fucking virgins. And then it was just like, oh, dude, well, don't say that. Bah, 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 I did fucking. I got destroyed, boof, dude. I got destroyed, and then they were just. I ended up with like negative thirty five karma the first day. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I couldn't post until I got it back up to one. <laughs> I love when you get these ideas to like <laughs> fuck with shit and you just get destroyed. Every time, dude. Dude, the Street Fighter thing at night is so funny. <laughs> I know we already said this, but dude, the idea of you. So Matt was in a failing marriage. He thought yeah. the one thing that would make him happy was this <laughs> his cell phone game where he played online and fought people and he went O in like 80. <laughs> He just got his ass kicked before bed every night. <laughs> every night, I'd come home and just get like into like a weird, vague argument and be like, fuck this, and lay down and start playing. She'd be like, go to sleep. I'm like, I'm going to go on my phone, all right? Shut up. <laughs> then i just like get my balls beaten off by an eight-year-old Chinese kid. Just put my phone down and just be like, <sighs> go to bed. <laughs> uh, the wrestling with the priest joke. Hit that last night hard. Phenomenal. Thank and you. And... Fuck, there was another one I fucking loved. I hit that last night hard. Anyway, yeah, Charles texted me and was like, dude. I was because I was I was keeping tabs on you, dude. Keeping I was tabs like, how's this boy? half hour doing? And he said it was he said it was good. And he said he closed with this joke. He he didn't I don't think he heard it before. Oh he didn't. And I was I like, think. Oh, I fucking love that joke. Dude, it was fun. Anyway, it's about it's Matt saying that if he got raped by a priest, he would be upset that he lost the wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> not, he'd be upset that he got pinned, not, <laughs> not that he got butt <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. I did a whole. I think I got joke. political last night too. Did you slam politics, dude? It was fun. Nice. It was, t- it was cool. I finally did it in Bethlehem. So I, I was at Steel Stacks with the Tommy Poe. <laughs> that lad.